Hey guys, welcome. I'm Jeremy. Um, I'm an Operation Wild program assistant, and I'm just going to be helping you guys um, with instructions on how to build your very own nest box, which we're really excited about. We think you guys are going to love. So, first step is to take the board labeled number one, which is the bottom piece, and you're just going to place that on the table, and then you take the left side, which is labeled number two, and you're going to place it beside board number one. That's kind of what we're going for here. So then at this point, I think I would turn it over and line it up. This is going to be the hardest um, nail that you're going to have to put in. And you want to keep it at a right angle as much as possible. Now we're going to put on board number three, which is the back, which is the tallest piece we have, so we want it to be flush with the outside of board two, um, so you can kind of line it up just like that, uh, so probably put it down this way. So I'm putting this nail kind of in the center of the bottom board. Um, put a nail just along this side. I don't think it matters too much how high or low. Piece, which is piece number four. You want to take that and place it on the front of your nest box. Put one nail into board two. Make sure it's kind of lined up flush. into board one bottom right in the center again all right, all right so next step it's a bit difficult we're going to use board number five, which is the right side of the nest box. And we want to create a hinge um, on this side so that we can open up the side of the box and look in um, to the tree swallows or bluebirds you might have in there. So um, it's really important to just get the, the nails on the front and the back to be even with each other so that it will create a hinge so that it can open. So the first nail, use this one, you can put probably about an inch and a half down from the top. Start with the front, um, that gives you the best idea and then you can match up the back. First part in, now we're going to flip it over. We're going to want to line up 
you can see I kind of missed a bit there. There's the nail, so that's actually helpful for lining it up. So we want it to be, you'll just look over, you'll see the nail head. You can just use your hand, kind of trace to where you should put the next nail. Make sure it's flush again. We're on our last board. Here we go, we're almost there. So, as you can see, even though I kind of messed up, the hinge still works on the side. But when I take board number six, the roof, and place it on, if I'm going to place it all the way down, then the hinge no longer works very well. Still kind of does, but it's a little tight, so you want to make sure that you have a bit of space um, when you nail this one in. So, I'm gonna get the nail. And we're gonna place it. Make sure you have enough space for what you want. And then you can just put one down the center that'll go into board number four or the front. So yeah, first you just kind of get it stuck in. And then you're going to want to get your hole. This one you'll want to kind of angle the nail so that it goes straight into the board six the roof. Alright. Make sure it's all good to go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, now you have your very own nest box that you can set up. Um, a little additional comment is uh, you also, you're also going to want to put a screw in the bottom here. Um, we didn't have one with us today but it's just a simple um, drill in and put a screw so that way you can make sure that this stays closed in the wind and um, then you can still open it back up. Um, so thanks again for, for buying one of these and for investing in conservation with the Rasha Ontario.